race, though, for Wisconsin Attorney General. Taking a look at the numbers right here, 43% of those precincts reporting. You can see Brad Schimmel with 57%, Susan Happ with 40% of the vote there. And we're going to go to Christina Palladino. She's at the Susan Happ campaign, where we are hearing we might be hearing from the candidate any minute. Yeah, as you can see, she just took the podium right now. Obviously, a lot of her supporters still optimistic and hopeful for her. It was a very quiet scene here just a 30 seconds ago, but now she is at the podium, obviously waiting to address all of her supporters here, and we're going to listen to her right now. Thank you, everyone. Um, what a wild ride, huh? But no, seriously, thanks to everyone who's here, uh, everyone who supported me, worked for me, uh, donated to the campaign, and obviously those who voted for me. Um, it really has been a wild ride. Uh, I can't thank you enough for all of your support, really. Uh, if we came up a little short tonight, it wasn't because of any shortage of effort or enthusiasm. And you were all incredible, and we could not have done any more. You know, when I decided to run, uh, we knew it was a long shot for sure. Uh, for starters, I had to win a tough primary against two other good progressive candidates. And we all came together after the primary to wage an uphill battle against a well-funded opponent who started the general election with a big financial advantage. And I want to thank John Richards and Ishmael Ozan for their graciousness and their support since the primary. Uh, this campaign really has been an amazing experience. I have traveled the state and made many new friends who share my values and hopes and dreams for this great state. This campaign was not about me, and I would not be standing here tonight without the help and support of thousands of people all across the state who gave their time, their ideas, their energy, and yes, their financial help. I can't begin to name all of them, and I'm not going to start because I'm afraid I would go on for an hour and I would miss several people. But I do want to thank my family, my mom, my husband Dale, my daughter Haley, my aunt and uncle uh, Joan and Barry, my sister Michelle, and my brother-in-law Matt. Uh, they've been with me every step of the way since February, and even before that, when I wasn't sure if I was going to run. And I'm really grateful to all of you and the hundreds of thousands of people who marked an X next to my name. It's all a little overwhelming and more than a little humbling. And I know you're disappointed tonight. I am too. But I don't regret for a minute that we made the effort and we fought the good fight. And I hope you don't regret it either. I'm proud of the campaign we ran, that we never sunk into negativity or divisiveness. We raised some important issues, and I hope we raised some public awareness. I would like to have spent more of our time talking about the issues, but my opponent and the media went in another direction, and I do regret that. For me, this campaign was an amazing opportunity. Thank you for giving it to me. Now, tomorrow is another day. The sun will rise, and the alarm will go off a bit too early, and I'm going to sleep in a little for a change. And then we'll see what comes next. Thank you. All right, that was Susan Happ uh, conceding tonight. Uh, and we're going to take one more look at those attorney general numbers that she was looking at and that her opponent was looking at. Uh, here you go. We have uh, Brad Schimmel with 57% of the vote to 41% of the vote for Susan Happ. And that is with 48% of the vote in. 